course, this is where you're going to set up each one of your classes. Again, you'll go to New Course. You'll call it whatever you want it to be, PE 101. In this case, I call it Health. It'll tell you how many school days. And I'm going to use a simple schedule. Put down what time the class starts, what time the class ends, and what days you meet. So for school, we'll be meeting maybe Monday through Friday. And you'll do this for each one of your classes. Next, go to Teachers. You'll enter yourself. You'll enter your ID number, first name, last name, and then check the boxes of the classes that this teacher is going to teach. So I have this one that Ms. Klaus is teaching health and Sam the Sham is teaching outdoor PE. Go next to students. This is a list of all your students. If you have a new student come to your district, you'll enter him in here. Go to new, enter the student's ID number, then enter their first name, enter their last name, their date of birth, gender, and then you'll check the box for the class that they will be in. The next one is called roster. Roster is where we can move students in and out of a class. So this one happens to be health. Let's look at outdoor PE. Here are the students. And so let's say that Sam the Sham was taken out of outdoor PE. So we click his name, click the arrow. He's no longer in that class. If he moved into health class, we go to health. We find Sam the Sham. We put him in this class. So roster is where we move students. Heart rate interface. This is very minor. Just make sure this says USB. OK? Then we go to library. All of your watches need to be set up. And here's the procedure. Click up here for the heart rate type. The ones we're using is the E600. Then, very important, check this little box. That allows us to change any of the data in this area. This one is heart rate monitor number one. We will give it a name. So for this district, it's And over here is the sample rate. This has three choices. Every five seconds, it'll take a sample. 15 seconds, it'll take a sample. Or once a minute, it'll take a sample. Then we're going to do option lock. That way, the students cannot change these options down here. So the zone that I selected here is for a high school student. And when we go into that, we'll look at the CU heart rate zone. Now we're ready to set the watch. Go to your watch, push the bottom right button one time, and you'll see the word connect. Line up your razor. We call it a razor because it looks like we could use it as one. Then we go over and left click, set heart rate. Once we see the OK, click OK, click New, click Options Lock, we now get our next watch, push the bottom right button, see the word connect, line it up with the razor, click set.
once that's done and you'll repeat this for all of your watches next we go to assign heart rate monitor so in our library we have two heart rate monitors recorded we can go to auto assign and you can tell it what number to start with then click yes and you'll notice it since there's only two it repeated itself it went one two one two if you need to change any of these click then click the drop down button and you can change it to whatever watch that you want for this student once you're done doing this for that class go to the next class and assign it we'll go to auto assign tell it to start with number one go to yes once you're done with this then go up and click print that will print out a copy of the heart rate monitors and who they're assigned to and you want to do this for each of your classes because you'll post this on your gym wall so the students know which ones to pick up and this is very important for accountability uh, at the end of the period uh, you want to make sure that everything is checked back in and if not you'll know who to go check on to see if they still have their transmitter or the heart rate monitor and very important when you're done with all your classes click finish that saves all of our work that we just completed